For every day in October, I'm gonna build a part in my level based on a theme I get from this random spinner. Now, I have zero creator points, so my only goal is to finish all 31 parts of my level this month and get it rated. There are two rules. The first rule is that when I get a theme, I take it off the wheel and I have to do it no matter what. The second rule is that I have to upload each and every part as a YouTube video from the 1st of October to the 31st. Will I finish the challenge or will I succumb and fail? Hello everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and this is Blocktober Day 2. Alright, let's see what we get. Um, don't be some bad. S it's snow! Okay, I can deal with that. Okay, snow. This could be very good here. I have no idea if this is gonna turn out amazing or terrible. We're just gonna have to wait and see. First of all, turn this to around a darkish blue, somewhere around that hue to make it seem like a night snow area. Pretty nice, pretty nice cozy area. Start off with the structures. We're gonna have a brown interior to, you know, describe some dirt, some, maybe some wood actually, but I'm thinking dirt for now. If we turn on hitboxes, we can see this is a long rectangle shape, which means we can make that type of shape. That looks very good. Make that a little bit smaller. Oh, that looks a bit... That looks a bit unnatural though. I'll tell you what, maybe we can make this wider and add some sort of shadow underneath. Just around that. And... Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, snow. We're gonna do something very intriguing. My plan? We take a bunch of these objects. We can use them as snow. If we set that speed down to about 20. Yeah, that looks nice. Wait, what? Wait, I can make an effect with that. Hold on. Okay, I discovered something there. I could definitely make something. Wait, I could definitely totally make something with that. Hold on. Wait a second. Nah, that'll be better than the water part. And take this, take it there, duplicate it, flip it, and connect it. And come on. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm gonna say that looks nice. I'm, I'm gonna be the first one to say it. That one looks nice right there. Okay, build a ground. Come on, make a gradient. Come on, make a gradient. Where's the gradient? Okay, there it is. Okay, turn it to 20 opacity because we don't want it to be too much for the player. Warp it to the size of the snow. And it looks majestic. Oh my god. So I'm going to use these blocks, but rather with no audio scale. That's a better way to make a circle in GD. It uses one object and it's high scalable. It doesn't cause that much blurring. You can only see the quite blurring on the edges here. Adding some depth. This on top of those gray specks. Oh, never mind. That doesn't look good at all. Ooh, never mind. That didn't turn out how I wanted to. Oh, never mind. I made it work. Hold on. Wait, that looks sick. Oh, actually, hold on. If I make this 14 a bit brighter, what happens? Everything looks brighter because everything's using 14. Who would have thought? Ah, I have an idea. Maybe if we can make the spikes like icicles, that would kind of add to the experience, you know? If we make that that color, and if we make this this color, then it creates a sort of icicle. Cyan with a blending. Does it look good? Ooh, that might look gas. That might just look gas. And then I proceeded to not talk for about six minutes. So here's me adding snow to the blocks and random other details. Ooh, we can add some texture like that. Ooh, texture. I like texture. Texture, that's a fancy word. Where texture seems like it makes me know what I'm talking about when I'm creating GD. When in reality, uh... I didn't talk for another five minutes. So I added a thick T2 black gradient on the ground while adding a blending background gradient for depth. Whoa! 4,600 objects in these two parts. And this one's not even finished. I have to lay off of the objects, man. How many objects is this one singular block? I'm gonna guess uh, 58. Oh, wait, what? If I change from dark to day, will it look better? Actually, it kind of will. I actually have an idea of sorts with this. A recent trick I've learned is to use exponential out at 1.5 for like any movement and it look like this. Do you see how silky smooth that is? Wait, what if I do move time three? You know what? That's that's nice, actually. That's that's good. Okay, usually in snowy areas, there's some sort of mountain. Okay, mountains in the background look kind of peak. They actually look cool. Wait, what the heck? Oh, wait, I just got the craziest effect idea ever. You know how we updated from 2.1 to 2.2 and we got this trigger and you know how there's a snowflake icon you see where i'm going life type 2 max particle is 200 it should be good why is it turning why is it turning black why is it doing that i haven't turned any settings on oh wait i i have it i understand how to do it hold on if i do that at the start of the level alpha 37 0 and then when it turns into the snow part 37 0 hold on 
Wait, what? Ooh! I love men. Now add some slight more texturing to the blocks. Wait, I didn't notice that block. Wait, what is that? Wait, what is this? Wait, what? I've never seen this. Okay, you know what? This act this actually could be kind of good. And then to spice things up, I'm going to add a blending flash. Flash is cyan with a 0 0.1 and 0... One. Whoa! That's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was maybe like a, a bit of that. Yes, that looks good. Texture up our block designs. What can we do? I'm not sure what I would do to texture up a block design like this. Um, ooh, that's some nice texturing. Wait, what? Wait, that looks kind of cool, actually. I'm going to keep that going. And just going to add some quick highlights and shadows. I'm going to add shadows to the back of the block and highlights to the front of the block. Just to add some more depth, because we love depth. Okay, now for the final touches to the snow part. So my idea is that I want to have like a yellow warning sign that there's snow. This is going to consist of two parts, the sign and the rod. It's going to be in full cap SNOW! If you aren't aware, there is, a, there is a lot of snow in this part. Add a drop shadow on that. That's the sign done and I'm pretty sure that's the part fully done. Our final time is 1 hour 15 minutes. For this pretty beautiful, as I could say, snow part. That is sick. I, I kind of cooked that up. Anyways, let's see how it looks like in normal mode. Uh, yeah, nice. Nice, let's go! If you're watching more than two days into the future, episode three is already probably out, so you should check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, and it would be very nice.